In this lesson, I'll show you how to calculate the tension in a string that's moving in a circular motion. The question reads, a 0.60 kilogram rubber stopper is whirled in a horizontal circle of 0.80 meters radius at a rate of 3.0 revolutions per second. What is the tension in the string? The first thing that I'll do to tackle this problem is find the velocity using what we know about revolutions per second. So I'll write down 3.0 revolutions per second and convert that into radians, where one revolution is equal to two pi radians. So multiplying this by this conversion factor, where I put one rev at the bottom and two pi radians at the top, notice that the units will cancel out conveniently, giving us six pi radians per second. At this point, if I multiply this number by the radius of 0 0.80, so if I multiply this by 0 0.80 meters, I'll end up with 0 0.80 times six pi, so 0 0.8 times six, that is 4.8 pi radians meters for one second. Now in these sorts of applications, radians doesn't need to be written down as a unit. So if I take away the radians unit, I have 4.8 pi meters per every second. And as you can tell, this unit meters per second is for speed or velocity. So I'll write down V for velocity. And of course, you can actually find out what 4.8 pi is. Just multiply 4.8 times pi, and you'll actually get a quantitative value that you can read for the speed. Let me just show you what it is. 4.8 times pi, that is 15.07. So 15 decimal zero. I'll just write down 15.1 meters per every second. Now that we have the speed, let's use what we know about Newton's second law, which is force is equal to the mass times acceleration. And because this stopper is going in a circular motion, the acceleration here is centripetal acceleration or radial acceleration which is if we look at a diagram, if something's moving in a circle, that's the acceleration of the object towards the center of the circle. To find the radial acceleration, we use this formula, where radial acceleration is equal to V squared over the radius. So I'll substitute this expression into that formula, and I'll write it down here force is equal to the mass times v to the power of two over the radius. Let's fill this in. The mass is 0 0.6. The radius we found to be, I'll write down 4.8 pi for simplicity's sake. So 4.8 pi raised to the power of two over the radius. And that was 0 0.80. We have 0 0.6 times in the top part, I'll place that in parentheses, 4.8 pi raised to the power of two divided by 0 0.8. And we end up with 170.54 Newtons. So 170.5 Newtons, a force or tension in the string. And there you have it. That's how to calculate tension in a string that's moving in a circle.